Made it. What Arizona. Doing, chasing big bulls. So just big rolled bulls. up to camp. We got like 30 minutes left of daylight. And so hopefully we uh, get it set up. There's some actually some glassing right here, but we're going to head south in the morning and locate some big bulls. And hunt opened yesterday. So we're good to go. We'll be packing the bow and do tell basically them, kind of scouting. But tell them what hunt it is. It's, uh, we're down here in Arizona on a late season archery elk hunt. So uh, pretty tough. But we've got two weeks. Um, through Thanksgiving and the week after. So um, we're all the way loaded down. Dad's gonna come down with some more gear. Um, but for now, we're, we got the setup. We're gonna set up the wall tent, get it going, vestibule all set up, and then get packed up for tomorrow. Opening day for us, even though it kind of started yesterday. <laughs> We found mm, eight oak for sure, coos deer, some moo cows, and a dude over there. So overall pretty good for the first day. We got here pretty late, like Raiden said. We were, um, it took longer to get here, and I thought we could drive the road, but they actually closed it, so, which is a good thing. We'd much rather have it closed and have to hike in here, so now we know it takes about an hour and 30 minutes from camp with the drive and hike. So we're probably gonna pack maybe glass for a little bit, pack up and then go check out some stuff to the south and then probably work up to the north for the evening hunt. But just cover some country. All right guys, we got huge news. <laughs> I split off, just barely made it to this place that I'm glassing and Cooper instantly picked out a bull in the wide open and then he said like a 360 plus bull so exactly what we're trying to get I'm gonna hurry and take the old pack off get my spotting scope out and try and film it for you guys but we got a freaking giant so let's let's I'll keep you updated starting to rain a little bit but I ended up seeing one more bull and I bet he was 320s, but I only saw him for half a second before I could even get video of him. But Cooper ended up seeing another 330, 340 bull just up the canyon. And yeah, I watched those two bulls get up. And he was a good bull. He's, I think he's still all 345, maybe pushing 350. He definitely looked bigger when he was bedded. And then he gets up and he's super narrow and just kind of a little more compact than I thought. But on this hunt, you can honestly be pretty picky just because it took Cooper nine years to draw this late archery tag. So we're just getting started. It's no crap day one of actual hunting, putting the feet on the ground and just glassing areas that Cooper has just e-scouted. So that's truly all we're doing. I think it's like 4.20 p.m. right now. So not too long before it gets dark and it looks like it's about to start pouring on me. But we'll just keep glassing until Cooper gets down to his four-wheeler and then I'll go get picked up and then we'll head back to camp. Keep it smart like you and left my bike <laughs> What are you doing? Lacing them up, old son. <laughs> tell him tell him the game plan. Uh, this morning we're gonna go. We got the truck and then the wheeler loaded on the trailer behind it. We're gonna go drive about 30 minutes, get the wheeler unloaded, take a wheeler tra uh, trail. First, I'm gonna drop Braden off. He's gonna go to a separate glassing point closer to where we left those bulls last night. Then I'm gonna go head up to the master vantage where I saw those bulls and another three bulls with a nice 340 bull with them as well, a long ways away, but I could see them good. So I'm gonna go set up there. Plus, I saw another bull I didn't get a good look at last night. So, there's a lot of elk um, around where we're going to be, and we're going to try and locate one of those bulls from last night or um, a new one. So, hopefully, we can get on them and 
they bed in a decent spot for a stock or we sneak on them in the morning who knows but I'm excited right we uh we definitely got a chance this morning we have a freaking killer update I don't think I really even filmed much but I've seen I ended up meeting up with a guy super cool guy and Anyways, he was kind of seeing these bulls from yesterday too, but just from a different area and met up with him. Glassed, I think, like eight bulls across all these rims that we've been seeing uh, last night. Never saw those bulls actually. We saw like seven new bulls and I think like, you'll see all the video. You guys can judge off of everything, but amazing bulls. Everything bedded in kind of crappy spots other than these two littler bulls. So that's kind of the update and over where Cooper is, he glassed up like a 340 bull under these cliffs. And I think we're actually gonna try to put a stalk on him, just a double stalk. Like I'm just gonna film him, sneak in and everything. Dude, That's enough. You, what you got in here? You got potato salad and pulled pork sandwiches tonight. Oh. Dang. Bro. Should be pretty yummy. He's got us just straight up crushing life in here. Enough for seconds too. So and then uh, you can't really see me too good, but oh yeah, you can. So we had a pretty good night. Ended up meeting up with the guy from earlier I was talking about with his glassers actually. So we do have competition now. So now we just got to up our game. <laughs> no, we're not like that. We're just gonna either hunt together or just see what happens you know yep. so we're gonna go back in that same spot tomorrow morning and see if we can't find that big old sucker we called him his new name is mr clean mr clean good old mr clean because he's literally just the cleanest bull we've seen out here he's unbroken just i mean just a pretty freaking pretty super big six point so super symmetrical oh just an amazing bull but we're gonna get this food in us hit the old crib and then do it right back in the morning i don't know what that meant wake <laughs> up right in the morning and then head back out and see if we can't relocate him but that's how this hunt's gonna be just kind of the same days over and over again until we can hopefully put a stock on something and either get him down or get some experience behind the belt so let's eat some food and go to bed Um, slower morning for both of us. I found a cool, I don't know, maybe 330, uh, would have been a seven by six. He got an inline and then he's busted on his sword and after his, basically after his sword on his right side and the left side's like a clean, a uh, really nice six point. And then three other six points, one other new one and then two others that we'd seen. So not much this morning, so we're gonna, Load up, go back to camp, make a game plan, and go check out some new country to the south this evening. So, should be good. Damn. We, <laughs> did you film that? Oh, you're damn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Uh, couple more miles. Then we'll turn down. Head into a new glassing point tonight. We'll split up and hopefully find some big bulls. But. I don't know, new country, kind of a, uh, the guy was stalking like our number two bull this morning, so he, we just talked to him, he's a nice guy, but he made a stalk on, yeah, like I said, our probably our number two bull that we found, and sounds like he blew him out of the country, so we're heading to new stuff anyways, so. See what we can find, stuff's cool, but hopefully it opens up at the end here and we get some glassing done, but we're gonna head out of here.
one thing about Arizona is there's so many things that will just poke and stab you and try to freaking hurt you because these bushes do not look that bad until you try to break through them and then they really show you who's boss. <laughs> I've had that happen a few times, but we're done glassing for this morning. At least I am. I'm going to head back to where I normally get picked up by Cooper and he's going to keep trying to glass that bull. He actually found a new bull, like a 340-ish bull, so and he said it's like a perfect place for him to sneak in or at least me and him are going to sneak in because why not? You might as well try and I think it'd be really cool to get it all on film for you guys and just for ourselves for the future. We just love filming our hunts just to watch back every single year so that's kind of the plan i'm gonna head back to the road he's gonna keep glassing that bull and hopefully make sure he beds and yeah i'll just wait for him and then we'll figure out a game plan from there okay so there he is right there uh, kind of see wait till dang, dude oh yeah yeah so that's the one Sheesh. bull yeah it's a good bull huh yeah, dude. so then man. yeah his fronts are big too so he went in and then maybe an hour later, I looked over and glassed. This is the smaller one. His sword's bust on the left side, but his fronts might be a little bigger. Dang, they ended, studs though, that's Yeah, cool. so then they went in. The last place I saw him, mm -hmm. he was right here. He fed across, I saw him there, there, and then he walked across this last opening, didn't come out of there. This stuff's like see open. Him. Oh yeah, like above, like mm -hmm. that's what I mean, it's good. And this bull worked this way, he came through there, whatever, and then I saw him. I actually think I see him bedded right mm -hmm. there. So I think I could see his butt once the sun was hitting him. So they're right there. They both didn't leave. I could see all the way down below. Dang, dude. So they're in there somewhere. But yeah, we'll get over here. We'll drop everything off the truck, unload our packs, and then get over there and put a stock on finally. So day four, and we finally got a stock. I know, I dude. Let's get it. Yeah. Day 
Six? Yeah, six. Day six, we are headed into the same exact point we've been going in since day two. Um, yesterday we saw about seven to ten bulls. Um, one big bull a long ways away, but he's broke, so we're gonna hop on the wheeler and side by side, split up to our points, and see if we can get a bull to bed in a good spot. The weather cooled down, not supposed to be as hot, and it's supposed to be overcast, so hopefully they're gonna bed in a better spot instead of thick timber, so we'll see, but we're getting out of here right now, so let's go find a bull. What? We're on camera, we didn't say. We're gonna get a big bull today, I'm excited. I've got a good feeling about the day. I thought that was the camera, so I was looking at that, and then I realized it was over there. All right, we're gonna put the old pack in the Ranger. Oh yeah, we got us a little baby. A little chilly this morning. Yeah, it's pretty. Let's get going. Coach, you, what do you have to say to the camera? Let's go. <laughs> Might be cool. Well, freaking Port made a fantastic spot we saw these i guess we saw two of the bulls we just didn't know how big they were i thought they were both rags but there's one rag and then two just stud like i think one's pushing 345 the other one's probably around that too but they're kind of broke up but i mean what can you do we're not just gonna like not put a play on a broke up bull even though he's really big so that's the update and then also cooper and jaron have a few other studs spotted down in their spot so we've got at least four potential shooters for sure three i'd say Maybe maybe for sure two, I'd say. Um, 340 plus, just if they weren't broken. So we'll keep an eye on these bulls. All three of them are in a pretty perfect spot right now. But honestly, like they might be feeding most of the day just because it's pretty shaded. I guess there's some sun kind of glowing on them, glowing above them right now. But either way, we're gonna watch them, hopefully get them in bed and get them in a good spot that they bed <laughs> and then head over and try to put a play on them. But. If he wasn't busted, he might be a shooter, but he's pretty broke up, so I don't think we're gonna go after him. He's in a pretty good spot. I think we can make a really good play on him, but we're gonna watch him and look at him a little more. Big thirds. That was pretty epic. We snuck into a bull <clears throat> right here about, mm, I don't know, he was 40 yards from us. And wind switch, it hit our neck, sun's going down, so I knew it was a matter of time. That's why we were hustling. And then he took off, came over here across the canyon, and I stepped down there, and I was on some rocks and ranged him at 72, and he just wasn't a shooter. He wasn't the bull that we thought it was. He was a bull that we saw this morning up on that face right there. So. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> that was all, yeah, that was fun. Nice to sneak into bow range and uh, have an opportunity at a bull. So tonight was freaking fun. I mean, but even before that, we would have had, we could have put two other stalks on bulls, one bull about that same size if he wasn't busted up. So 
that was epic 40 yards he was right here Braden spotted his tying and then our, our wind I mean it's going downhill now hard but it hit him and he just took off and then he walked across the creek down here and 72 he could have had it but that was cool Time for the long hike oh, back to like our boots. The, oh, we took our boots off. We, we thought he was about 200 yards up the canyon. Yeah, we were over there stalking down yeah. that face, and then we had to loop all the way all around. All the way around. Just because Cooper ended up seeing him when we were up there. So yeah. we like, shoot. They caught his tying, and then so I knew he was right here at this corner, so had to we skedaddle. really booked it. He was right through those there. big trees. Well, that was fun. That was awesome. <laughs> that was some good action today. Time to head back. Long ways out of here. Get the boots. My freaking feet hurt so I can bad. Tell yours were hurting. Dude, I yeah. couldn't even walk. Yeah. But I was running. Yeah, so we're gonna get our boots and then get the pack and then decent hike out here and then a long four wheeler drive. So it's gonna be a long night. Freaking fun night though. Okay, we had a good morning. Uh, was able to find a bull I found three days ago in an even better spot. So he actually wrapped around a face and got under a cliff. He's probably, it looks about 40, 50 yards under the cliff. Big bull, or big left side, big, super pretty six, probably 335 ish, 330, 340 bull. And then his right side, he's busted after his sword, but he's got an inline. So he's definitely cool, super red. And uh, he's just, this is a bull we just like, uh, We've just been waiting to get an opportunity at a stock like this, and he's presented it, so we're gonna take our chance. We left him there bedded. Um, I watched him all morning at about 10.30, he got up, uh, fed around, and then re-bed in the same bed, and then actually facing to the uh, east, basically. So it's perfect for us, we'll come over. I don't think we'll have a shot at him in his bed, but I think we'll be able to see his antlers, and then hopefully uh, get a shot on him when he stands up. So we got about a mile. Um, up a big nasty ridge and then we got to drop into a huge canyon he's about 80 percent of the way down so it's gonna be a long stalk definitely a couple hours so we got everything cleaned up we're gonna uh, hit the trail and go kill a big bull That was close, but a little too noisy. It was, uh, this last little bit was just straight up shale and brush. We were just a bit too noisy and he heard us or something, but he was right here where we left him. So when we were about 20 yards off the cliff, we heard rocks rolling and we kind of hustled up over. And by the time we got over here, he'd cross the other side, but he would have been bedded. It's not right in there. It would have been 40 yards right off this cliff, so. And he ran all the way over the top of that. Like elk are insane. Look at that. Swing and miss, huh? Yeah, it sucks, but wasn't meant to be, I guess. It's morning number nine out here, and I 
figured I'd kind of do a little rundown on the last few days because it's been pretty slow. We've seen some really big bulls put no plays on them just because they always bed in a crappy spot. Yesterday night we went to a new spot and didn't find anything worth going back to. And today it's morning number nine, like I said, and I glassed up a big old six point. I think, where is it? I lost it. There it is. Yeah, big old six point, like really, really big four, six point. It's just hard to tell what he is just because it's not light yet. So morning number nine, is it the day? I don't even know, but I'm sure, I'm sure you guys will know by the end of the 10 minute day, <laughs> if that makes sense. But um, Cooper and Jaren in the other spot, once again, nothing's new. I don't even know how I'm gonna edit this video. It's all the same, it seems like but they found a big bull too. So fingers crossed we can just find a big bull. We've already done that. And now he's got to bed the big bull in a good spot. We haven't done that yet. <laughs> Pretty much this whole trip. A little bit change of scenery, but I glassed up a shed from my glassing point I've been at for the last seven days, nine days. And I figured I'd hurry and come get it. I glassed it from all the way up there. And it looks like a freaking sweet six point. I finally found it. I've been a little lower than it, so it's been slow this morning. So I figured I'd come grab this shed and then head back up and start glassing again since it's so early. But it's right over here. These things are no joke. They don't look mean, but they are. Look at this. They literally just grab you. Oh, yeah. Just a good little six. That's sweet, though. Hell yeah. Not bad. Not bad. It's pretty old. A lot smaller than I thought. But I figured there'll be a few more in here, so I'm gonna kind of just loop up and then back on the ridge and then go back up there. <laughs> well, we made her back to the glass and point and figured I'd show you the shed. It's not bad. Just a good solid little chalker. Not bad at all. So now we're just gonna at least have a shed now. I don't know if it's worth it, but Cooper has a big boy um, still located, I'm pretty sure, and he's gonna hopefully watch in bed and then hopefully we can make a play on day number nine. But I'm just glad I got me a little shed. Pretty freaking sweet. I definitely will have to check out some of this stuff for shed season. I bet there's a lot of sheds around here. Okay, uh, this morning we got two plays on two different bulls. Uh, we got like a 310, 320 bull. He went over um, over a little ridge and did some ponderosas. We're gonna try and still hunt it. We gotta get aggressive, we got four days left. Then we got like a probably a 340, 350 bull. Um, we know he's in a line of trees. So we're actually gonna wait on him. We're gonna put a still hunt that one bull. Now we're gonna set up above him in a clearing, hoping he's gonna feed out to us this evening. Uh, my dad's up on the glassing point. He's gonna watch, see if he moves and let us know. But we're gonna load up. We got a long, probably hour and a half drive on the side by side around. And then we're gonna come in over the top, still hunt that, and then go set up on them for the evening. So hopefully one of them we can get a shot. Just got a couple days to make it happen. So uh, gotta <laughs> hopefully something happens. We need, a, we need a lucky break. I ended up glassing one of the big boys in the canyon we call Mr. Clean Canyon. It's just a canyon we've seen Mr. Clean in, so we figured we call that. <laughs> really good name, I know, but Cooper was actually up with Jaron, Cooper's dad, up at the top glassing, and I was glassing down here, and I glassed up the big boy, so Cooper um, is driving the truck and wheeler all the way around and hopefully gonna get above him. So I think it should be a good play. He's still out feeding, 
doesn't look like he's getting too comfortable yet, but he also hasn't moved very far, which means he'll probably bed somewhere on that face. And where he is is a money spot. There's a cliff below him, a cliff above him. He's kind of in that middle range, so I'm sure it's going to be an all-day thing, but let's hope Cooper can get it done. It's third to last. It's the third to... It's the third day until the hunt ends, and we're just hoping we can get this good play on, the, on this bull. He's a freaking stud. He's close, dude, but the bull's looking towards him. Isn't that his nose? Kind of looking uphill. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, bull's up. All right, here we got day 11. We got today and tomorrow to make it happen. Fueling up the side-by-side -side and four-wheeler. We're gonna go sit above where we've seen bulls the whole time. Um, just being more aggressive, gonna try and get on them in the morning before they bed. Um, had a close call yesterday, as you guys saw. Uh, just didn't make it happen, so hopefully we uh, get another chance at one or get lucky, so. doing packing up to go home <laughs> tough hunt we hunted hard as you guys saw 12 days straight every day um, basically committed all of our put all of our eggs in one basket in that spot had a couple good stalks passed one bull um, so I mean it was successful we were within 50 yards of I think five bulls yep, five I think five bulls, bulls. so it's fun definitely a tough hunt Knew it was going to be tough. I don't know if I thought it was going to be that tough, but stocking conditions they just weren't ideal. So we're going to load up and uh, do the long 12-hour drive home. So it's going to be a long day the rest of the day. But hope, hopefully you guys liked all the bull action and some stalking a little bit here and there. But we'll see how Braden throws it together. But it should be good. So we're going to pack up and get on out of here. <laughs> 